merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness in them. We come to you in your name to seek your protection against the COVID 19 virus that has disturbed and pained many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your name, dispel the fears of your sin, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people, task to find cures for this disease, and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick in confidence and compassion, grant them healthy mind and body, strengthen their community and protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to them. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who love them. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all peace to our Lord Jesus Christ our Son, who lives and lives with you. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever redeem you. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, do not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers of glorious and blessed virgin. Amen. Our Lady, help the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint of Elder, Angel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo, Pray for us. San Pedro and Lord, pray for us. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and despair to the heaven. May God and the King come to pray and to the things of the heavenly host. May the power of God, Christ and Christ, Satan, and all the other evil spirits who dwell upon the world.
Sisters, let us begin the sacrament of charity and mercy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome to the first day of Novena Masses in honor of our blessing on the on Tuesday before the Ash Wednesday, the great feast of the Holy Face. But on this Mass, we focus on the theme of the Gospel today, which is love. Love the way Jesus does. Sometimes we fail to love because we did not use and utilize the love of Jesus, His way in loving our neighbor, even our even of our enemies. Let us therefore call to mind our sins for the times we have failed to loving God through our neighbors, through our enemies. And for this way, I confess. Sa 
ang ating kanapin sa iyong dakilang aking kapuringan Panginoong Diyos Ari ng langit Diyos amang makapang Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering your spiritual things, we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Forgiveness of offenses and magnanimity were not common virtues in the ancient world. This beautiful example of David's magnanimity towards his enemy soul is not only a happy exception, but also something that puts to shame those Christians who seem unable to forgive. A reading from the first book of Samuel. In those days, Saul went down to the desert of Ziph with 3,000 picked men of Israel to search for David in the desert of Ziph. So David and Abishai went among Saul's soldiers by night and found Saul lying asleep within the barricade. 
with his spear thrust into the ground at his head, and Abner his and his men sleeping around him. Abishai whispered to David, God has delivered your enemy into your grasp. This day, let me nail him to the ground with one thrust of the spear. I will not need a second thrust. But David said to Abishai, Do not harm him, for who can lay hands on the Lord's anointed and remain unpunished? So David took the spear and the water jug from their place at Saul's head, and they got away without anyone seeing or knowing or awakening. All remained asleep because the Lord had put them into a deep slumber. Going across to an opposite slope, David stood on a remote hilltop at a great distance from Abner, son of Ner, and the troops. He said to them, Here is the king's spear. Let an attendant come over to get it. The Lord will reward each man for his justice and faithfulness. Today, though the Lord delivered you into my grasp, I would not harm the Lord's anointed. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. He pardons all your inequities, heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction, crowns you with kindness and compassion. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does He deal with us, nor does He requite us according to our crimes. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. As disciples of Jesus, we are expected to live according to His teaching and example. This includes loving even the unlovable in a constant effort to rise above our natural inclination to repay evil with evil. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being. The last, Adam, a life-giving spirit. But the spirit was not first. 
rather the natural and then the spiritual. The first man was from the earth, earthly, the second man from heaven. As was the earthly one, so also are the earthly, and as is the heavenly one, so also are the heavenly. Just as we have borne the image of the earthly one, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly one. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all rise. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, To you who hear I say, Love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, and pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on one cheek, offer the other one as well. And from the person who takes your cloak, do not withhold even your tunic. Give to everyone who asks of you, and from the one who takes what is yours, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. For if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do the same. If you lend money to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners and get back the same amount. But rather, love your enemies and do good to them, and lend expecting nothing back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High. For he himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful." Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and, gi and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down, and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, o Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning to everyone, especially to the devotees of our blessed Lord, the holy face of Jesus, who are here present in this chapel and who are with us online in the FP live stream Mass. Have you not been scandalized by what you 
heard upon the gospel for today? Are you aware that there is that kind of teaching of Jesus regarding loving your enemies, loving those who mistreat you, loving those who hurt you, loving those who ask for money and they did not return it? Is it okay with you, the kind of teaching of Jesus? This is full of challenge, a scandalous teaching of Jesus. But it is true. If you would like to follow as a disciple of Jesus, then we will try our best to live out what we heard here in our gospel. Welcome to the first Mass for the Novena Masses in honor of our blessed Lord, the Holy Face of Jesus. This feast usually falls on a Tuesday before the Ash Wednesday, a preparation as we enter into the solemn season of the church, the Lenten season, in order to lead us and direct us to the Holy Week, to the Paschal Mystery of Jesus. But then before we enter completely into that program of spirituality, we are going to celebrate the feast of the Holy Face, of which we hope and pray that we blend our life into the face of Jesus to filter our actions and words in order to reflect the image of the Holy Face of Jesus. That is the aim of every devotee of the Holy Face, to be likened to, her, to His face, to be similar to His life, and to be like, and to look, not only to look like Jesus, but to become Jesus in our modern world. That is the challenge of being a devotee of the Holy Face. And how possible will it be to live and to reflect the image of the Holy Face. Lo and behold, you have heard when I read to you the Gospel today, this is how to become the reflections of the Holy Face. Kaya po ba natin? Susubukan po ba natin? Kaya ba nating lunukin ang bawat salita sa ating Ibanghelyo ngayon? But I would like to tell you, God, Jesus our Lord, has warned us before even continuing to teach this. Sabi niya, to you who hear, to you who hear, I say, sinasabi ko sa inyo, kayong mga nakikinig. So babala na ito sa atin. Pinangunahan na tayo ng Panginoon. Kung hindi nakikinig sa akin, then forget about this gospel. This is not for you. Only for those who hear. Only for those who listen. Now, is your heart open in the teachings of Jesus? Then if you do, then let us find out. Let us continue reflecting the words of Jesus in the gospel. Sabi po niya dito, Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Imagine? Napaka-Kristyano naman ito. Too good to be true. Mahalin mang yung kaaway. Gawan mo ng mabuti ang namumuhi sa iyo. Pagpalain mo yung sumusumpa sa iyo. At ipagdasal mo yung minagmamaltrato sa iyo. Imagine? And this happens in the family. This happens within a community. This happens in our society. And this happens to us every day. We do not treat anybody as enemy. But sometimes people would act as an enemy for us. But then the Lord said, love your enemy. Hey, Father, Lord, paano po iyon? Mother Superior, paano po iyon? Ang hirap. Hindi man ako banal. Hindi naman ako si Jesus. Pero diboto ka. Diboto ka. 
ng banal na mukha ni Jesus, how are you going to follow the ways of the Lord Jesus? Eto po, sinabi niya. Do to others as you would have them do to you. After giving us the warning, for those of you who hear, sabi niya, do to others as you would have them do to you. Katulad din niya na sinabi ni Confucius, do not do unto others. Ano yung susunod? Hindi ko lang po makabisado. Huwag mong gagawin sa kapwa mo, ayaw mong gawin nila sa'yo. But then Jesus would also talk about it in a positive manner. Treat the way others treat you. Di ba? And do to others as you would have them do to you. Ibig sabihin, kung ano yung pakito mo sa kapwa mo, pinapayagan mo rin silang makitungo ng ganon sa iyo. Pabalik. Kung naninigaw ka, okay lang din ba sa yung sigawan ka? Kung nagmumura ka, okay din ba sa yung murahin ka? Kung, nanak- kung nananakit ka ng kalooban, ng damdamin, okay din ba sa yung pasakitan ka ng damdamin? Is it okay for you? Mag-isip tayo, minamahal ko mga kapatid. Do to others as you would have them do to you. And these following statements of Jesus will be true and would be possible if you want to be loved then try to love if you don't want to be hated do not hate anyone if you don't want to be cursed then thou shall not curse anyone if you want to be prayed for then you pray for others Parang napakahira po nito. But this is possible for those who wish to become disciples of Jesus. Di ba minsan sinabi na po niya, Then if you wish to follow me, pag sinabing if you wish to follow me, you must have the desire, at least you have the desire to follow him. And after the desire is self-denial, itanggi mo ko ano ang para sa iyo upang mabigyan ng buhay ang iba. And then, Take up your cross, and then you will be my disciple. You can follow me. Then if you wish to follow Jesus, then do to others as you would have them do to you. And loving your enemies is possible. The third thing that I have that I would like to focus on in our gospel is this. Be merciful as your Father is merciful. Di ba po sinabi niya, what credit is that to you kung magmamahal ka lang ng mga mahal mo sa buhay? What credit is that to you kung magpapautang ka lang doon sa alam mo makababayad? What credit is that to you kung yung ginagawa ng ibang mga kriminal na mabuti ay ginagawa mo rin. What credit is that to you? What kind of reward will you, re- will you receive when, when you do what others also do? But then the Lord is telling us today, my dear brothers and sisters, if you would like to blend your life into the holy face of Jesus, then be merciful as your Father is merciful. It is as if the Lord is telling us, love one another and love your neighbor, love even your enemies, and you are going to love them as I have loved you. When you say, as I have loved you, love one another as if it is coming from the source, coming from the cause. I love you coming from the overflowing love of Jesus. At hindi tayo mauubusan kapag nagmahal ka na nanggagaling sa puso ng banal na mukha 
ng ating Panginoong Jesus. If you're going to love, coming from your love, lagi siyang kapos. Lagi mo sasabihin, hindi ko na kaya, suko na ako. Bakit? Saan ba galing pag-ibig mo sa'yo? No. The love you're going to use to love your enemies and to love those who hate you is the love that overflows from the heart of Jesus. Sino mauubusan doon? It is like a spring of water para bagang bukal ng tubig na bumabalong mula doon sa bundok papunta doon sa river, sa ilog na hindi na uubos. Kaya nga ang magmahal, hindi kinapapaguran. Mapapagod ka kapag ka ang gamit mong pagmamahal ay galing lang sa sarili mo. You will be for short of doing it and you will stop it eventually. But focusing on the source to where it should come from, to the source and to the cause, we are empowered to love not only one another, not only our neighbors who look good, but even those others who, in a way, treat us badly and become our enemies. To you who hear Isaiah, do to others as you would have them do to you, and be merciful just as your Father is merciful. Kaya po? Hindi pa ako tapos. Ito pa. Mabigat ito ha. Stop judging others and you will not be judged. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and gifts will be given to you. And I would like to focus on the last part of the gospel. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. Ang takalang ginamit mo sa iba ay ang takalang ding gagamitin sa iyo sa pagdating ng panahon. Matipid ka ba sa pagibigay ng awa? Baka tipirin ka rin. Mapili ka ba sa pag-ibig? Baka maging choosy din si Lord sa iyo. The same measure. Ito o, oh, sinabi sa gospel. The same measure will be used to you as you would use your kind, the kind of measure that you're going, that you are using for your neighbor. Kahapon, meron akong mga nakatanghalian, mga senior people, no? 60 and above. Nagkabiroan kami, sino ba mga boboto mo? Sino pong boboto ninyo? Pinipilit nila akong sabihin ko kung sino. At yung iba sabi, kung ano-ano na, no? By their actuations, nalaman ko kung ano. Siyempre, iba gumanon. Yung iba gumanon. Yung iba gumanon. Ako naman tahimik lang. Sabi ko sa kanila, paano niyo po napili sila? Sabi nung isang senior, Father, we have our own yardstick. And I'm, I am using my own yardstick. Okay. Sabi ko sa kanila, okay, you are free to use your yardstick. But make sure that kind of yardstick will also be used to you at the end. Respeto. Walang sisihan. My dear brothers and sisters, the Lord is telling us today, at the end of our lives, for the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. What is your measure of love? How is your measure of mercy? How do you treat the words of Jesus in the gospel? Are you really the hearer or listener of the word? If you do, then this gospel is for you. If you do not want to listen to Jesus, if you do not want to hear Him, 
it's up to you. Use your own yardstick. But I tell you solemnly today, on the first day of our novena, in honor of our blessed Lord, the holy face of Jesus, to blend our life into the holy face, be merciful as our Father in heaven is merciful. Love one another as I have loved you. Amen. Let us all stand and together let us profess our faith. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate, He suffered death and was buried, and rose again the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Challenged by the message of the readings for today, especially the gospel, let us ask the Lord's help to be able to love the way He has taught us and to be merciful just like our Father in heaven. And forever pray, we shall say, Lord, teach us to love as you love. Lord, teach us to love as you love. For the Pope and all other spiritual leaders, may they cons constantly proclaim the stern demands of love and forgiveness and be the first to put them into practice. Let us pray. Lord, teach us to love as you love. For all Christian leaders who are called to promote a civilization of love and justice, may they persevere in their effort despite of all difficulties and setbacks. Let us pray. Lord, teach us to love as you love. For all the victims of violence and injustice, may they find in the example of Christ and in the power of God's grace, the strength they need to forgive their oppressors. Let us pray. Lord, teach us to love as you love. For all parents and educators, may their readiness to forgive make credible their teaching that we should love even our offenders. Let us pray. Lord, teach us to love as you love. For all Filipinos, who are working hard to build a better nation. May they learn to reject evil and treasure honestly the love of neighbor. Let us pray. Lord, teach us to love as you love. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord, teach us to love as you love. Lord of mercy and forgiveness, strengthen our hearts with your grace that we may put into practice in our daily life the love we celebrate in this Eucharist. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oh, 
Sisters and brothers, may sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and ever to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to be to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we to give you thanks as in exaltation, we acclaim. Glory to the highest, blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the Hey, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, 
for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which he departed for and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray to partake of the body and blood of Christ, we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, friends, our Pope, Jose, all the bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Let us pause for a while and remember our departed beloved. Let us mention their names silently in this Mass. One another as it comes from the stream of living water the way Jesus does and so we pray Believers, Lord, we pray from every evil, gracefully grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as away the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I live you. My peace I give you. Look not on our words, but on the faith of our church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace and the love of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Peace, everyone. Peace be with you, Pope. Lamb of God. 
God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. My dear friends, look at Jesus. This is the source of love. The Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Spiritual Communion I wish, my Lord, to receive you with a purity, humility, and devotion with which your most holy mother received you, with the spirit and fervor of the saints. Amen. Where there is fear, I can allay. Where there is pain, I can hear. Where there are wounds, I can bind and hunger, I can feel. Lord, grant me courage, Lord, grant me strength, grant me compassion. Where there is hate, I can confront. Where there are yokes, I can release. Where there are captives, I can free. And anger, I can appease. Lord, grant me courage. Lord, grant me strength. Grant me compassion that I may be your heart today. To see a broken world Compel me from my cell grown cold That your people I may be whole There is fear and a There is fear
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please all kneel. Prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of the nations. For every petition, let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Let us pray together. Let our response be, hear us, Lord that conscience may always be our ultimate norm, hear us, Lord, that the common good may always be our highest goal, hear us, Lord, that human dignity may be respected all the time, hear us, Lord, that the poor and the weak may always have the priority, hear us, Lord, that care for creation may never be ignored, hear us, Lord, that solidarity may guide the path of peace and development, hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office, hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us. A call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for some announcement. The Feast of the Holy Face of Jesus will be on March 1, 2022, Tuesday before Ash Wednesday. In this connection, we are once again cordially inviting all of you to join and participate in the Novena of Reparation in honor of the Holy Face of Jesus and the Holy Mass. February 27, Sunday, Novena of Reparation is at 6 p.m. followed and the Holy Mass at 11 a.m. February 21, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 28, Novena of Reparation is at 5 p.m., followed by the Holy Mass at 6 p.m. February 22, Tuesday, Novena of Reparation is at 8 a.m., followed by the Holy Mass at 9 a.m. While the feast on March 1, Tuesday, Holy Hour at 7.45 a.m., Holy Mass at 9 a.m., to be presided by His Eminence, Jose Lazaro F. Cardinal Advincula D.D. Those who are willing to sponsor the Novena Masses and the Feast Day Mass may inquire at the office. And in behalf of the Holy Face of Jesus community, I would like to thank our sponsors, Brother Iman and Brother Brian, for leading us in the singing, our acolytes, 
and Reverend Father Leo Ignacio. Thank you, Father, for your presence and inspiring homily. And all of you who joined us in this Mass, we hope that you will continue to come for the remaining days of our novena. Likewise, for those who joined in the live streaming, salamat po. Please all rise. Since you, we have begun the first day of Novena, so let us join the sisters at least online in their FP page to join them in their Masses and if possible, to come here in the chapel for our devotion and for our Novena. Salamat din po for inviting me on this first day of our Novena, this 2022. Mabuhay po kayo, Holy Face Sisters. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our must be offered, let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Oh